Then I went on another excursion. I went to Whitewaters in Atlanta, and I know y'all don't really know what it is, but it's pretty explanatory in the name. It's white people and water. <laughs> you know. So I'm out there riding stuff, and as y'all know, a black women do not get their hair wet. We ain't gonna, we gonna do a little song, we ain't gonna go all the way in, okay? I could promise you that. If I drown, they'll pull my body up out the ocean. My hair be bone dry, you hear me? I'm gonna get my hair wet. So my kids were suggesting rides that we could ride that was safe, you know? So my daughter said, mommy, let's ride this tube and ride. You just go down, you bounce out, it's three feet of water. You can do that. And I seen little old people doing and everything. I said, ooh, yeah, I could do that. No fuck I couldn't do that shit. They ain't tell me you got to have abs of steel to stay your ass on this motherfucking tube. I'm on this tube going 100 miles an hour. I feel like I'm on the Jamaican bobsled team. I'm swinging and swaying, whooping and swooping. I'm up on the side of shit. I'm trying to hold steady, stay on this tube. I'm doing everything to get out of here. I can see light at the end of the tunnel. I'm about to come out, it's good. I feel good, about to bounce on out. No, I don't bounce out. My two flip around backwards. Now I go careening into the water, ass first, like a breech baby, you hear me? And I can't even stop myself. Now when I careen into the water, my wig came off. Now listen to me, I was cute as fuck. I had braids, but they were shorter than this. I looked like Laura Ingalls from Little House on the Prairie. I was so fucking cute. Now listen, the wig came off. Now I'm underwater trying to get my motherfucking wig back on. I'm putting the wig down, trying to pull it down. I'm still under the water, but I can clearly hear white people outside the water being helpful as fuck. Stand up. Stand up. It's only three feet. I was on that water. I said, bitch, I'll drown to death before I come out without this motherfucking wig. Oh, ho. Now I try to get the wig back centered by my ear. I get the wig back on. I feel good. I come up out the water. I take the breath of life. That's what it felt like because I had been without air so long. I look at my daughter. She look at me. She said, mommy, it's on backwards. I said, you raggedy bitch.